everyone, I'm Darren, and welcome to another My Tech Buddy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how you can use a very private platform to create surveys, polls, and all sorts of other things without having to worry about sharing important personal data. So let's go in and take a look. So we're going to be looking at end-to-end -end encrypted forms and surveys using BlockSurvey. IO. And this is something that I came across uh, about a week ago or so, uh, and I've given it a go and already tried it, and I've found it really, really useful. Uh, it's a privacy-first platform. It's completely free. You don't have to pay anything at all, and it doesn't have any ads, trackers, blockers, or anything like that um, to worry about, and all of your data is encrypted and anonymized. And you can sign up for free just by clicking up here, sign up for free, okay? And what that will do, that will take you to your block survey dashboard. And you can see you can either create from scratch here, or you can create using AI. You can import existing um, surveys and things, but there's also a ton of templates available that you can use your own templates and other people's and create your own. So we're just gonna look at templates to start off with because there's some really great options here. We can see we can search for different types of forms and surveys and experiences that we might want to go through. So, for example, um, there are things like alumni feedback. We've got teacher evaluation surveys. We've got things like organizational, organizational climate surveys. We can do an anxiety screening using the, the GAD um, scoring system. There's photography feedback forms. So you can be used mileage calculators or these kind of things brand and logo design, loads of things you can use these for. So let's just go to product experience, for example. Um, and we might look for feedback for a website. OK, so I'm going to click on this one. And you can see that it's already made for us and it's going to ask for the person's name. It's going to ask for their email ID. Uh, it's going to ask them to rate the site and ask them for any suggestions. But you've got three views, and this is what I, th I really like. You can either have that done one question at a time, very similar to what you might have seen being used elsewhere. You can have that classic view that we've just looked at, or you can have it as a comp conversational bot kind of view. And you've got the option always to skip if you don't want to include personal information. So we can just skip that question. Uh, we can put in an email ID, or we can skip that as well and we can get through to rating the site. So I'm going to use that template. And that takes me into the design aspect. Now I've got lots of options here. I've got my title and my description. Now I'm not going to call it my website. I'm going to just going to put my website in there. And do it that way. Uh, and the private title might be website review because that's just for me. OK. And the message is going to be seen as please share your feedback on my website. Uh, I can have a welcome screen if I want one and I can decide where the start is. I can edit that start survey. I can give it a description. I can show a timer. I can have it on the left, on the right, in the center. It's up to me. And then I've got my questions, which I can change or remove. So I can just get rid of that name one if I don't want to use it, if I want it to be completely anonymous. And I can get rid of the email ID if I want to, or I can make sure that it is a valid email ID. I, I'm going to get rid of that. I could clone that and use it again, of course, or add another question in. So I'm just going to delete that as well. Uh, and I want them to rate my site from strongly agree, strongly disagree through to strongly agree. Youthful and modern, I don't want that, is um, engaging. Change that, and modern. Pleasing colour scheme, I'm just going to change the spelling of that. Websites, pages generally have good uh, information, I think that says. Or good, uh, good images, there we go, keep that. Easy to navigate, a user-friendly interface. So I'm going to keep with that. I'm not going to change those at all. Um, I'm going to make it a required question. And you can see there's a question reference that goes alongside it. And this is what it might look like. OK, so I've got that side of things all ready to go. That's my rate my site. Um, I can add in here any suggestions to improve. 
Again, I've made it a required question, but it's an open text, and I've set it to long text, and, and then I've got the submit screen. So we've got here submit, just press enter, and then we can have a thank you screen and, and, and a call to uh, action if you like. So you could say, check out my podcasts on Spotify and add the link in here. Um, check out my podcasts. I'm not going to do it on Spotify. Do it any way you like. Add all of that in there. You can upload a brand logo if you'd like to. I'm sure I've got one here. Uh, yeah, let's use that one. Upload that brand logo so it goes in there. Check out my podcasts. And we're good to go. So now I can preview that. This is what it's going to look like at the moment. So this is the traditional view. This is what it looked like on a tablet and on a mobile. This is your classic view. And this is your conversational view. OK, so that's my preview. I've got lots of different options to share it. I can link the preview. I can use the custom URL. I can share it on socials, QR code, email, and I can use a URL shortener. I can integrate it by embedding it into the website itself. So I could take the iframe and embed that into my website. I'm going to take that one there. Uh, I can have the feedback here, but I can also then embed down the bottom here a feedback on the website. Drop that in. Now, obviously, that's now in there. Now, I might say that actually the red buttons there, that doesn't quite work with the rest of my um, branding. So I'm just going to publish that on the website. But I'm going to go back to that design area. And we've got all of these options down here. We can change the text if we want to. We can change the colors and the themes as well. Um, so rather than uh, custom design, I'm going to go that the question is in black, but the button is in purple. Uh, and that's not exact, but it's close enough uh, and do it that way. So I'm going to save and apply that. And I might have the answers in purple as well, actually. There we go. Save and apply that. We must make sure that we publish. So what we're now going to see, if I close these windows down, if I go now to responses, we'll see that I've started to receive all of that information back in here. So I've got the individual responses and I've also got the analytics as well. So it's going to start to create for me all of my graphs, much like I might be used to with Google Form uh, in a very simple and easy to read way. So really, really useful. And any of these can be downloaded as CSVs, uh, can be converted into things like word clouds as well, which is a really nice little feature. Um, and at any point, you can just download the whole lot and you can sort your number of order, um, number of replies. You can share those. Um, but more importantly, as well, at any point, you can just turn off the ability to answer so we can go here and we can just stop collecting if we want to click create new start from scratch and it takes you into a very simple very straightforward format for putting yours together so there you go give it a try um, completely anonymized nothing is collected even when you log in you don't log in with your own email address or anything else you get a very bespoke um, user ID that only you know, and you also um, sign in with a very, very complex um, passphrase that again is completely um, secret and only known to you.